What's up, everybody? This is for my uh, either Warcraft buddies or anybody in general. All right, uh, let's see here. It's like 1.30 in the morning. But anyway, uh, since there really is nothing out there that explains how to do this, I haven't found anything. I mean, if you do, by all means, comment and let me know. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, what was I doing? <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this program right here, Sandboxy. All right, you can use this program to basically force Warcraft three to open twice and I'm just gonna I'm just posting this to show how to do it I'll leave links in the comment in the description or whatever all right so download this um, you're gonna need the full version so it costs like 20 bucks it's 20 bucks for a year so I mean 20 bucks I mean it's not like I think it's worth it if if not I mean you, you might find something better. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, you download Sandboxy. You unzip it. Okay, so what you want to do is... Uh, okay, first off, you want to you 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 take your Warcraft 3 installation. You want to make multiple folders like this. One, two, three, four. See, like this? Okay, so... You open one up. And then... Uh, Okay, so, yeah, I think that you pretty much get the gist of it. Okay, I mean, there's all your files, your installation files and everything. Not installation files, but your files for Warcraft. And then you copy and paste them and, into different folders like this. Yeah. Okay, so, and then once you install uh, Sandboxy and get it all set up, you're going to open up your control. And what you want to do... Is you want to make you want to make different sandboxes and to make a sandbox you how did I do that okay yeah create a new sandbox type in a name uh, you don't need to worry about that uh, and then click OK all right so what 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 the problem is with this um, I think people might struggle with and I did a little bit here. Um, is okay. So you have multiple. You have new sandbox, and bas basically what you're gonna do. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right-click this and run it into, run it in a, uh, run it in sandbox. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, the only problem is when you run it in sandbox. I can run. It's gonna, it's gonna copy. It, it's it's not gonna it's it's gonna it's not gonna load up. Uh, explain this. Okay, it's it's not gonna load up like uh, your new your C CD key. So what, when you make multiple, the idea of of uh, loading loading up multiple Warcraft threes and then playing on Battle.net is uh, is so you is so you can. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me back up a minute. Okay, I'll explain this. Okay, yeah. When you load up, when you load up multiple work Warcraft threes, you want to log in. The problem is you you have to you have to change out the CD key. And Blizzard on their last patch, um, they had it they had it so when you um, you could change your CD key from right at right within here and you know you'd be good to go but now they don't have that option so now you have the only the place that they have the CD kit at now is uh, is in this uh, place called program data files okay yeah right here see Warcraft folder and then right here see so has user TFT ROC kit uh, ROC uh, Reign of Chaos, Thrones and Thrones, CD keys. And anytime you want to change your CD keys, you just open up those text editors, replace the keys, and close them out. 
But um, so every time you load up a sandboxy, what's what's it gonna do is it's gonna try to re it's gonna try to read from this uh, same profile, and uh, we don't we don't want it to do that. So um, I figure I figured out how to. Well, it's not actually not going to read from that same profile. It's actually not going to read from any profile. Yeah, actually, it probably it probably will. I'm not exactly sure what it does there, but yeah, it reads from here. But what you want to do is first off, just to be safe, you want to you want to delete this. I'm not going to because I don't want to replace it. But you want to delete this. Make sure there's no folder in here. And then when you when you go to load up, this is like the five million dollar problem right here I, don't, I think people are going to struggle with half the reason why i'm making this video okay so when you go to load this up and you run it in a sandbox before you do that what you want to do with these new uh these new sandbox sandboxes is you want to delete the delete the contents and see how there's two contents in there okay i'm not going to delete that but here I will delete this one. Okay, I'll delete this one. Okay, so delete the contents, and it's so when I go to open Warcraft three in this sandbox uh, Warcraft five, it's gonna it's gonna um, load it up as if it's a, a new Warcraft, basically. Now that I mean that's what that's what sandbox does is it is it um <laughs> it it uh, it takes a program. Whether it's the, whether it's uh, your uh, uh, internet web browser, something in an XEX file, sorry, EXE file or whatever folder, even any anything, and it and it and it puts it basically. It, think of it. Well, they. It's funny. It's ironic. They call it sandbox because they basically say think of it as a sandbox. It puts your program in a box, and so. Think, think of it like think of it like an extra firewall I guess that's the be best way I can describe it I, I'm not sure I, I can't think of a better analogy than sandbox but anyway it, it basically makes it so your that program has no access to your computer it just has to filter through your the sandbox so it's it's basically it's basically like it's almost like an emulator it's like an emulator for uh, for like it's like VM it's like similar to a VM software, yeah, I'm sorry, virtual machine software. So, it's like it's like your own little uh, virtual machine that's it's loading up into, is what it is. So um, when you so once you when you when you load up your Warcraft, what do you want it to do? Here, I'll show you what happens when I do this. Uh, crap. This is not my night. All right, sandbox and five is the one I deleted. Click run as administrator. Click OK. And it didn't. It didn't do that. OK, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, that's because it's reading from. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. That should work. What the in the world? Oh, uh, let's try this again. Actually, you know what? I recant that last statement about program file. So I am going to delete these. Okay. Now let's try it. Right click, run sandbox. All right, yeah, there we go. See, this is what you want it to do. See how it's yellow right here? It, it's putting it, it's putting in, it's in the, your Warcraft file, Warcraft, XEX, EXE, whatever extension is being put in the sandbox. And so it's going to prompt it like a new, uh, new Warcraft, like it's in a new computer or like it's in a virtual machine, like how a virtual machine works, except you don't have all that crap loading up. It's only loading up one program. And so you just, I'm not going to enter my CD keys, but you enter in these CD keys and you hit OK and it'll, and it'll launch it in a sandbox. And then you do that, you basically do the same thing I just 
talked about for each one of these. So Warcraft one, I should have the. I already have like all these like set up already. Uh, let's go. This one. Okay. So I have all these set up. So it's gonna. I it's not gonna ask me to to load up a CD key because I've already. It's a, it's it's it stores it. It stores it on this in the in the. Um, in like the sandbox memory, it's probably one of the sandbox uh, folders I, where I, I'm not exactly sure. All right, loads up. Okay, yeah, see, and then uh, just to show you that this works. Um, okay, and we go. Yeah, no, see, you don't, this is, what's really nice is about this, no, no having to reinstall it five million freaking times, because their installation takes forever. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Alright. Uh, let's do this one. Alright. Voila, see? And I have two Warcraft 3s. Throws and Throne, and as well as Reign of Chaos if I wanted. That I could load up. So, simple as that. Um, And as far as... Uh, I mean, I built the, the, the most I've ever seen on one computer is like 12 and... Even I, I've I've been loading up six and and even at six for I've got like a terabyte and, and uh, eight big eight gigs of physical memory. So um, if you got a powerful computer, I mean I suppose you could try to do twelve, but it, it takes up a lot of data. So I, I recommend doing uh, using like two computers, and I also recommend uh, having a buddy because it it makes this process so much smoother, so much quicker. It out of these here, and uh, I'm, I mean, I'm using a proxy for this, but uh, you have to you want to be a host, and in order to host, you have to you have to port forward. So I will pull that up just to show that real quick, too, in case uh, people out there don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'll try not to cuss on these things, okay. So so you want to find your port forwarding on whatever router you have. Okay, and then you want to type up CMD, command prompt, pick config. All right, and you want to utilize, you want to utilize your LAN adapter. Um, and see, uh, IPv4 local address. This is your LAN IP address. This is, it should, if I had this set up right, it would show my IP6 address. This is like, this is, this IPv6 is like the communication for uh, outside your network, and the IPv4 is like for communication within your network. So each, you can change this if you want, if your router, I think most of my router allows it, but most of routers should allow that. But um, yeah, so you have your IPv4 uh, address right here. You input it. Input the service for your IP, and you may use ports 6112 through 6119. Make sure it's port forwarder, forwarding, not triggering. You don't, you shouldn't need triggering. Um, if you, I haven't tried this yet, but hosting, hosting, uh, having like six Warcraft threes uh, loaded up, and trying to uh, host on the same computer. Except like um, at, at separate times. So like I'd have one of my Warcraft three clients on this computer um, hosting for uh, two others with two other two other of my clients, and then have another one on this same computer hosting for another two other clients. 
Um, I'm assuming that's possible simply because it's your computer. I don't, and the and the sandboxy is uh, is basically um, you know loading the Warcraft all in, like it's a separate computer, so it should work in theory. But if it doesn't, um, that's probably a whole nother workaround. Also, as far as like using two different computers and having that workaround, that's I I I'm, I actually don't know how to do that. I did it a long time ago. I forgot how to do it. I just remember it was a real pain in the rear and I'm not going to attempt it. Again, this is why I just say it's best to do this with the buddy. Uh, when you when you abuse range, when you uh, abuse uh, Warcraft online gameplay, you should abuse range team. That's that's your best bet. I mean, that's most of the time. That's why people load up multiple Warcraft threes anyway. I mean, ever since they invented, uh, came out with like uh, programs called K Loader back in the day. That's that's what they did. All right. Anyway, uh, I hope this video is helpful. And comment below uh, if you have any questions. Just feel free to reach out. All right. Thank you.